this video, I'd like to talk about graphs of continuous exponential functions. We have developed a nice model for continuous exponential growth or decay. It's given by capital Q of lowercase t equals lowercase a times lowercase e to the power lowercase k times lowercase t. Lowercase a is the initial amount, lowercase k is the continuous growth or decay rate, lowercase t is the time, and capital Q is the quantity at time t. I should note here that the lowercase e is Euler's number. It's a number that your calculator knows when you type in lowercase e. It's why you want to be very careful to never use lowercase e as a variable because your calculator will always read it as Euler's number instead. Now, the graph of a continuous exponential growth function is simply the graph of an exponential function. In fact, we can convert any continuous exponential model into a regular exponential model. It just has a slightly different rate. For example, if we start with f of t equals 500 e to the negative 0.05 t power, this is a model with a continuous exponential decay of 5%. I'm going to highlight that there. That is the negative 0.05 in the exponent. Now we could rewrite this so that it reads 500 left parentheses e to the negative 0.05 right parentheses and then that part in parentheses is raised to the t power. So I'm just separating the negative 0.05 from the t with our exponent to an exponent rule. We multiply exponents like when we have an exponent to an exponent. Well, the nice thing about this is that e to the negative 0.05, that's the number we can calculate on our calculator. So if we do e to the negative 0.05 in Desmos, we get 0 0.9512. I'm rounding to four decimal places. So now our model is f of t equals 500 times left paren 0.9512 right paren, and then the part in parentheses is raised to the t power. This means that we actually do know the decay rate if this was a discrete exponential model. The number 0.9512 is the same as 1 plus r. In this case, r is going to be negative, and r is going to be 0.0488, which tells us that the exponential decay, if this was a discrete model, would be 4.88%. So anytime we have a continuous exponential model, you could rewrite it as a discrete model. But do notice that the rate for the discrete model is not the same thing as the rate for the exponential model. The 5% is a k value. The 4.88% is an r value, and technically it would be a negative r value as well. Because of this, all the same types of properties that are true for non-transformed exponential functions will also be true for non-transformed continuous exponential growth functions. And you should already know how to find properties of exponential functions, so I'd like you to do this problem yourself. I want you to list eight properties of capital P of T equals 2000 E raised to the 0.085 T power and indicate important properties that you find on the graph. I've placed a graph of P on this page, but I don't want to describe it yet because I'd be giving away properties of the graph. I can actually write eight properties of this function without ever looking at this graph. See if you can do it with the graph as a hint. Pause the video, come back when you're finished. All right, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and describe properties as I list them. So the first property I notice is that I have an initial value at 2000. And I'm going to put that on the graph, 0, 2000. And I can actually write that two ways. I could say the y-intercept is 0, 2000. Or I could say the initial value is 2000. The graph is definitely increasing, and it's increasing for the whole graph. So it's increasing on the interval negative infinity to infinity with parentheses around both sides. It's never decreasing, so there's another property. The graph is always concave up, so it's concave up on negative infinity to infinity. It's never concave down. One important property of exponential functions is that horizontal asymptote. That horizontal asymptote in this case is at y equals zero. So I'm going to sketch that in and write it as a property. 
So horizontal asymptote, A-S-Y-M-P-T-O-T-E, is Y equals zero. Remember an asymptote always needs to be an equation, not just a number. I can also talk about the growth rates here. So I have a continuous growth rate, continuous growth of 8.5%. And certainly we could talk about the domain and range. The domain of an exponential function is always going to be negative infinity to infinity unless we have some kind of restriction because it's a real world problem. And the range here is everything above that horizontal asymptote. So that would be left parentheses zero, comma, infinity, right parentheses. That's 10 properties about the function.